Right now we have 7 billion people, 7.2 billion people on the planet. Uh, by 2050 it's projected that we'll have about 9.4 billion. In order to meet agricultural demand, uh, we'll need to double food supply on the planet. But it's been done previously. In the 40 years between 1960 and 2005, world production uh, increased an incredible 165%. And this is what we call the Green Revolution. Those traits that drove the Green Revolution are largely maximized. And so if we need to double it again, um, we're going to have to find new traits on which to do it. Every plant on the planet has this protein called rubisco, and it's so abundant because it plays an absolutely critical role. And that role is taking carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and fixing it to sugars during photosynthesis. And all life on Earth depends on this process. But there's also a problem. And that problem is that it'll also grab an oxygen, leading to the formation of a toxic compound called glycolate that the plant has to deal with but it costs a lot of energy and it goes through multiple organelles. So you think about it as a uh, country road uh, where it takes quite a long time to get from one place to the other. And so our engineering approach, uh, I guess in a simple way, is, is that we made a shortcut or maybe a highway system which we were able to uh, route around to where it ends uh, much quicker. Photosynthetic efficiency. The efficiency which with the plant can convert that absorbed solar energy into dry matter, into biomass. And that wasn't improved at all during the Green Revolution. The first year we got a little excited because we saw about a uh, close to 30% increase in, in uh, plant biomass. So at first being a scientist, I was quite skeptical. I'm like, I can't be making plants this big. And then the second year, it was even better. We saw as much as a 41% increase in uh, plant biomass. After multiple studies, we definitely are convinced that we're seeing this improved plant growth. And it's very exciting because if this can translate into food crops, then we could do a lot of work towards ensuring food security.